Ahoy friends, I'm Kristen. And I'm Joe. You might know us as the Wandering Wagners. Just two Canadians living in Australia who decided to convert an old Sprinter van into our new tiny home on wheels. And the best part, we did it all in 30 days. If you want to know how, follow along with us on our build series. There she is, the beast. The beast herself. Ooh, yeah. They have a hard waste collection in a town nearby. So people just put all their stuff out, put just masses of couches and just household appliances, everything. So we drove around and just started collecting people's stuff. Two by fours are expensive in Australia and people just throw them away. So I'm gonna reuse them. Site security, <laughs> it keeps us on track. Gonna get a certified electrician to look at everything, the wiring, because I want to get it certified. I like to keep it on the up and up. Um, also, I don't want to die, so two good reasons there. What are we doing today, there, boss? Okay, I said. <laughs> They're Kristen's mom pants, as she calls them. They're fleece lined. It's cold. I think the temperature might be in the low teens today. <laughs> Kristen's wearing insulated pants. Do you like some of this to put inside your pants? Some of this reflective insulation? Just build your own. Let's announce it. Day eight. No, nine. You said yesterday was day, day eight. Introduce yourself. Jam off my face. <laughs> Introduce myself. <laughs> Wood for the roof, the pining, lining, whatever you want to call it. Pining. Pining. <laughs> Pine lining or paneling. That I'm so wasting. it's interlocking. Um, we got some stain and varnish that we're gonna use to make Where it look, it? make that green pop. He's reading the instructions. I have to read all the instructions first. Like cooking, because then if you mix it up, yeah. then you're in trouble. Preparation is key. Finding that for everything with this build. Her get up with her boots she found. These are great the boots. <laughs> yeah, Kristen ruined her Lululemon shorts. I sat on this. I have one yeah. pair of Lululemon shorts. She sat right on the end of that liquid nails. Tell everybody what day it is. It's day 14. Day 14. It's day 14. That's two weeks in the van build. And it's coming along beautifully. Today we're gonna do some countertops, the table. Um, just get it ready. Kristen's gonna do the glossing. I'm a professional glosser. Professional glosser and professional flosser. <gasps> a dental hygienist. Hygienist. Put on this kind of nice pine ledge. Kind of nice. That piece costs thirty-four dollars. Of course, it's nice. I glossed it up. I think I glossed, glossed it, it an extra time. Yeah, girl. Looks beautiful. Welcome to day seventeen of the beautiful build, the Foley the Sprinter. Isn't she magnificent? Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> Today we are going to turn this into our kitchen cabinet, put the doors on it, put the doors on our bedroom cabinet, get the roof rack up, get some painting and glossing, yeah. maybe the sidewall, our fold-out cooker, our porta potty center console, just a few items. Everything. We're finishing everything today. We did it! We just got the solar panels remounted. Spent like the entire day on it. And I just finished and this happened. It is absolutely pouring. Woo! Look at that though. We just went and picked up a toilet. Right. Actually, that was the most common question people that we know asked us when we were living in a van. Where are you going to go to the toilet? Um, and actually, this handy dandy little cupboard is going to store store the toilet. Oh, we finished the back of the bed. Just show them that. For oh, those what? Oh. Are on hinges and they'll flip down. Kind of behind there is for some storage put like linens or bed stuff in there. So I've been thinking, life has a few great milestones. Like the day you're born, or your first kiss, when you get your first car, when you graduate, get married, all those cool things, add one to the list. The day you install a set of rollers, it does that. Soft clothes. What day is it? Oh, what? <laughs> day 20. Day 20. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Finished the bed. Look at that. <laughs> Weapon of choice for putting on the pine lining. Standard issue. Pass load. It's nice and discreet. Put it in your belt, whatever. Welcome to day 23 of the build, and it is painting day. So we got a couple hours left, and then we got to return the drop saw air nailer. Oh yeah, we have one hour. <laughs> this will be our only day that we're finishing early. We've been till like 10 every night, so tonight we won't be. We're going to a little Christmas party, so. Probably the only reason you should get married, so your wife tells you to put on sunscreen. The only reason, <laughs> the only reason to get married. What do you think? Lots to look forward to. You have someone to tell you to put on sunscreen. That's the only reason. Ahoy everybody. And it is, what day is it? The day is day 24. The day is day 24, which means it's the 24th of December which means it's Christmas Eve, which doesn't stop us from needing to do work on the van. But we went to a Christmas party last night. We did go to a Christmas party last night, which and was I fun. Had... Yeah, it was fun. Um, but we gotta do some work today. Thank you, Turner. Oh, you done? So we got work to do on the van. It is Christmas Eve, so maybe we'll try to keep the noise down. I say try to, but probably we'll just continue doing what we've been doing, which is annoying everybody in the neighborhood. Sorry, neighborhood. But whatever. I'm stoked. Got the, got the switches in. Got the dimmer on this guy. The lights. Tablet and phone. USB ports. It's time to wreck our nice pine ceiling. 
like cut a huge hole in it. Kristen had to teach me a lesson in patience. <laughs> We're struggling with the roof vent. And then I got paint on my fingers. I went to use the hose to wash it off. And I sprayed water all over myself. It soaked my pants. What's up everybody and welcome to day... 29. 29. 29, feeling fine. That's how old I am. And it's also... <laughs> it's also our second last day of the build. Which means our last full day. We did pretty good yesterday, I have to say. Pretty happy with the progress. We got some of the cupboard doors on. Those cupboard doors are ready to go. We made some modifications because we didn't like how they looked. Kristen's <laughs> gotta work on that bicep strength for those magnets. <laughs> Look at this absolute beauty. Oh, the leg. So that flips down. I don't know if you guys recognize that beautiful free Facebook table. All right, so it's day 30. Last day, which means we've got a few things to finish up. 